Swusire Klava, a great human being, a great guitarist, a, a great musician, a great artist all around. Uh, father, brother, uh, uncle, uh, you know, human being. And I think uh, that's the first point of departure when, when, when I think of him beyond the, the aesthetic of him just being a, a performer and entertainer and artist. So I mean, the whole sort of like 360, then he embodies that. So for me, as we see the club, is all these things that, that are not sort of like uh, galvanized one way. Swissile's music is actually very spiritual and um, from, from what I've heard and I've listened to him perform live many, many times, it's, it's, it's kind of ritualistic and it's very rich in spirit. It's the kind of music that makes you travel in your mind to like other realms and you kind of transcend where you are at and it moves you to a different place. The, the thematic of unlearning sort of itself uh, sort of like brings in or shines light on a bigger aspect that the more we learn sort of like the more we know what to unlearn and particularly speaking from like the colonial point of view and a sort of like an African point of view then all these stories sort of like or all these narratives um, need to be revisited and sort of like uh, reimagined reinterpreted so then so as to future generations to be able to ask the same questions and sort of like even push the envelope or the bond even further. There's a little bit of Maskandi in there, there's a big jazz influence, um, there's a, a lot of soul and blues and um, it's, it's really rather spiritual, it's, it's, you, ca you can't define it in one genre. So we see that comes from a trajectory of Philip Dabani. Uh, Malombo, uh, Matala Kunene. So I mean, now now we're talking about memory. Come to see. Yeah, la la la. Come to see. 